for those of you who don't know, I love anime and I love manga. I am an otaku. And I'm sure some of you, like, you can't not know about, like, the classics for girls. It's probably Sailor Moon, which was my first anime when I was, like, really young. I had the hugest, the biggest crush on Tuxedo Mask. Anyways, for guys, it's probably, like, Dragon Ball Z, most likely. Um, then there's, of course, Bleach, which I've already made a video about. And Inuyasha, and then other big ones. So the anime that I'm going to be talking about is um, not huge, not like um, Inuyasha or Bleach or anything like that. But it is hands down my favorite. Um, it has gorgeous art. I love the storyline. The anime is a 52 episode anime. This is how it started. My sister and I were really into Teen Titans. And then they canceled that. And we didn't know what to do from there. Like, We were like, what are we supposed to watch? And so we kind of started dabbling into anime. Like we are on DeviantArt, both of us. And we were we have friends who drew uh, Teen Titans art, and then they draw other art, and we were like, hmm, that's cool. So, anyways, we were in Walmart, and we were just walking by the magazines, and I saw this uh, magazine. And this magazine, I had I had I hadn't paid attention to it before. Um, it's called Shoujo Beat. Don't look for it anymore because it got canceled. Now they only have Shonen Jump, and it's by Viz Media, and it makes me really sad. So anyways, when I saw this, uh, it was um, plastic wrapped. No, it doesn't contain mature content. It had this with it, and this is really what caught my eye. It was like a preview episode, the first episode, of this thing called Full Moon Osagashite, or Searching for the, Searching for the Full Moon, I think is the English translation. Um, anyways, so I got it, um, and I watched it, and I totally fell in love with, like, the first episode. I was like, I have to, uh, watch the rest of this. And so I looked around, and I did, I did look up the plot line and stuff, so I knew basically what was going to happen. But, um, then I was walking around Borders, and I saw this, um, a manga by the same name. And I was like, OMG! So I decided to start buying them. And this was my first um, manga that I ever collected. Look at the art. I'll show you. Let me see if I can find something really pretty. But it has gorgeous art. That's one of the that's one of the best things that I love about it. It's by Arena Tenemura. And she is amazing. She has a lot of stuff that I like. But look at that. It is so pretty. And I love all things pretty and sparkly and soft. Look at how she draws everything. It's just amazing. Like, I love to just take a take a page and just try and redraw it. And of course it's not as good. But yeah. So this manga is really good. There are and I have collected them all. There are seven volumes to the set, and I think that this is a really good starter set if you haven't collected manga before, because they are kind of pricey. There's a saying that manga is an anti-drug, because when you are, uh, love manga, you don't have enough money to buy drugs, and it's true. Well, I'm guessing. I don't know how much drugs cost. But um, they are $8.99 plus tax, and usually that's around nine dollars so basically roughly ten dollars so I have invested around seventy dollars just right here no, I don't know which one is facing the wrong way but anyways it was worth it I love them they also have um, the um, anime um, Viz Media again puts the, the anime out and it is really cute this is the back I only have the first um, disc. I'm hoping that they um, put out like a complete set, like the whole series, because these also are a little pricey. I buy them on eBay. Most of my anime I do buy on eBay, because you can find it for pretty cheap. 
this is the poster I got, and it is like the original, I think, like artwork, like you see it everywhere. And it is Mitsuki, who is the little girl, she's 12, and she has a throat, a tumor in her throat, it's really sad. And the two uh, people, the girl and the boy, with wings and animal ears, they're Takto and Maroko. And they are like death spirits. They're harbingers of death. And they've come to get um, Mitsuki. Or actually, Mitsuki sees them. And they're not exactly sure why. And she's not supposed to see them. But their job is basically to make sure that nothing happens to prevent Mitsuki from dying on the day she's supposed to die. But uh, of course, they get uh, all involved. And then they can't. They don't want her to die. Anyways, this is the second poster I have. And that is Mitsuki. Well, it's Mitsuki, but it's her older version. The guy in the corner right there, that's Takto, without his ears. Um, and he feels bad for Mitsuki, so he decides her dream is to sing. I guess I should get the most important details out. Her dream is to sing, and I don't know, my computer's being, my camera's being weird. Um... So she wants to do that before she dies. So Takto feels bad for her and um, turns her in to a 16-year-old and so she can sing. And she wins this contest. And while she's a teenager, she doesn't have her throat tumor. And she becomes really popular and really famous. And so basically, the manga takes you through her like supposed last year of life, and, and so she's a singer. Now, there is, um, Takto is supposed to be Mitsuki's love interest, but Maroko also loves uh, Takto, which is rather funny um, in the anime to, like, watch them and to read about them in the manga. But then there is another boy uh, that Mitsuki is in love with, um, the, this boy right here. His name is Eiji. It's Eiji in the American version. In the Japanese version, I believe it's pronounced Echi. And I watched, I've watched the Japanese version. And so when I went and uh, watched the English version uh, with Netflix, I was like, what did they do to his name? I wasn't that happy. But I got used to it. Anyways. When Mitsuki was 12, no, she's 12 now. When Mitsuki was 10, she was in, in an orphanage. And um, she, basically, her only friend was Eiji. And she was 10, and I believe she was 16. And they loved each other, I guess. They didn't do anything. So they kind of manga. Um, but then he got adopted in... He got adopted and was sent to the States. Anyways, from here, the manga and the anime differ. Um, I'm not going to tell you what happens to Eiji, or I'm not going to tell you who she ends up with either, so, so that you'll have to go and read the manga and buy it and all that good stuff. But the anime and the manga do differ. On Their ending is basically the same, um, but they get there a little differently. Um, but either way, it's good. I would recommend watching the anime first since it is all out and then and the manga is all out because um, this is someone else's adaptation of the manga and so you don't have like you're not resentful and then go and read the actual uh, mangaka's work. That way you can see oh this differs. It's like reading a book and then watching the movie you're like, this is so not as good, and you hold resentment. So if you go into watching it with um, not thinking, is it going to be like the manga? Is it going to be like the book? Um, it is a, in, it's easier for me to like appreciate um, whatever I'm watching, rather than the whole time, this is different, and this is different, and that is wrong, and not okay. So, yeah. But that is basically the storyline. So two thumbs up for a full moon, and go read it and watch it. <laughs> Bye.